I want to create something that no one has ever done before. Um, you know, I want to make products that are different and unique and that make people say, wow, and you know, I'm just born to do something that is weird like that. So if I hadn't been making jeans, I would, I ha I'd have some kind of very strange brand of candy or, or something else like that. My family's been in the industry for 65 years. My grandfather started a workwear company back in the day. My father came in, so it's kind of my duty and responsibility to keep things going. So five and a half years ago, I decided to make my own brand, something that was very directional and crazy and um, story-based, and so Naked and Famous Denim was born. Raw denim is simply denim that is not washed and not treated. So it's denim that, uh, you know, there's no, no water has rinsed it, uh, there's no uh, guys with nail files uh, ripping it up and tearing it and you know, acid washes and bleaches, it's just the denim itself. Selvage denim, which is denim that we use very often, um, is a denim that is made on old machines called shuttle looms and on each pass it seals the edge of the fabric closed, making a self-edge all along the, the narrow fabric, hence selvage denim. Selvage denim is so special because it's more rare, it's more unique, and it goes back to the old school production methods, and it goes back to the opposite of mass production. It goes back to the time before the companies saw the creation of rock and roll and celebrityism, and they knew that jeans would become, you know, the ultimate American staple product. And they knew that everyone's gonna start wearing jeans and said, fuck these old machines, we're gonna cash in and we're gonna mass produce. So I love going back to the old school way that's about quality instead of about just mass production race to the bottom. I remember knowing and realizing that there's no way that my imagination was gonna get any better as I get older. I knew that as a kid, as a little boy, you have the greatest and most powerful imagination ever. So when I try to design crazy things, I just try to remember being an eight-year-old boy and you know, I had glow-in-the-dark stickers on my ceiling, so we made glow-in-the-dark jeans. Or I had scratch those scratch and sniff books, so we made scratch and sniff jeans. Or you know, we had those uh, t-shirts uh, when you were a little kid that changed colors with body heat, so we made thermochromic jeans and um, you know, that's how we get inspiration. I think what we try to do when we create new fabrics is to create things that are different from you know, the standard, what we've seen before. We can still have that classic look, but to make it out of something different or you know, new constructions, I think it's a lot of fun and it gives the customer something new to look at rather than you know, more of the same. We've done everything from Kevlar bulletproof jeans, stainless steel jeans, paper blend jeans, camel hair, wool hair. Uh, we make the heaviest jeans in the world, 32 ounce jeans. So if we can make something that is a lot different, like the mixed box twill, which is you know a combination of left hand twill and right hand twill woven simultaneously in a jacquard box pattern, that's really new and fun for me. I love denim because it's really the only, that and leather, uh, are the only two fabrics to get more beautiful with time. You know, when you buy a pair of distressed jeans, it's kind of like buying an apple at the grocery store with a bruise on it already, except they charge you more for it. They try to sell you on how unique they are, and they put the rip here, and they put the, the oil stain here, and the paint here, and okay, they're so unique, but every one looks more or less the same, so why are they so unique? I could buy these, or the next guy who comes into the store could buy the exact same pair of jeans and look exactly the same way as me. When you're buying raw denim jeans, sure they look the same at the start as everybody else. We all start at the same starting line, but the finish line is where, you know, the differences come out. And, you know, my jeans versus your jeans versus another guy's jeans, they're all going to look different. I think wearing a beautiful pair of raw denim jeans and beating them up and fading them out and having these jeans fade according to your lifestyle is the only way to have a truly unique pair of jeans that no one else will have.